That disrupted memory seems to be getting clearer. It's amazing. The sequence is repairing itself as if we're helping you work Break through time. psychological trauma. So I'm gonna be a more balanced person by the end of this? Oh, I have no clue. But the idea is cool. Are you saying that because you feel guilty about frying his brain? Sean's on latrine duty. Deal. Oh, of course, yeah. You side with her. Communists. You gotta stay with the code. How long do we have before the Templar satellite launch? It's October 8th, so that leaves us with... 74 days. Not much time. Think about all that you've been through in the last month. 74 days is a long time. We're getting closer to the apple. I can feel it. If it were up to me, you'd take more breaks. Good thing the fate of the world doesn't rest on your shoulders. Hey, joke all you want, but your mental health is a serious concern. It only takes a couple of months for most Animus users to exhibit extreme side effects, and you've been in for prolonged stretches of time. I'll rest once we have the apple. I was afraid you'd say that. We'll talk later. Now get in there and find the apple. We're counting on you. Any good stories about Cesare? Are you kidding? He was notorious. Get this, in 1502, his top captains rebelled against him. He made concessions to all of them and they rejoined his army. Then, on New Year's Eve in 1503, he got them together inside a room in Sinegalia. Everyone was arrested. Two were put back to back and strangled by Micheletto that very night. The rest were thrown into chains and, and killed a few weeks later. Wow. The amazing thing is that Cesare was so friendly during the months before, they never saw the trap coming. Machiavelli called him the master deceiver. So Cesare was pretty secretive. Yeah, yeah he was, yeah, except, weirdly, when it came to sex. After his wedding, he sent a letter to the Pope explicitly describing the intercourse on his wedding night. According to the letter, Cesare and his French bride did the deed eight times. Isn't that a Catholic thing? What? You're supposed to send the Pope a letter about your wedding night. Let's the old guy live a little, you know? You know, that sounds quite plausible, actually. We don't have time for chit-chat. You're all set to go. 